Hi everyone, it's Rachel here again. I just wanted to share with you a different style of managing your processes in the morning and how to set a really positive routine that will help build independent learners in your classroom. So I have my whiteboard set up every morning. I have my mantra, which is something I talk about in a different video, but I have my mantra up there and over here I have today. This is where I like to encourage those students that are a little bit older and more responsible. I actually let them record their name. So I leave the whiteboard markers up here and they record their name. The rule is they must record their own name. Now this is giving them a lot more responsibility in your classroom. This will help you with marking the role. The other option you can do is my other video that I made showed about how I put all my books that I want them to pick, collect up. I put them on the floor so when they walk in the classroom that sort of switches their brain into learning mode, picking up the book and going back to their desk. If I set that as one of my morning routines, the books left on the ground, that tells me who students are, which students are away. That really helps me when I'm doing my role marking, which can take a little bit more time. So if you're reading students' names out loud, okay, you're looking for little ways to save time, that's one of my savvy tips that I do. So the other thing you can do is get them to list their name here, and that way you can go through your role if you'd like to see that they're actually here physically, you can read their names out and you can go through. Uh, the other thing I do is I write all these, uh, as you can probably see, in a different colour. So some are blue, some are black. I don't number them. I allow the students the flexibility to select which ones they want to do in which order. It also helps to stop chaos and congregation in one area of your classroom, and, but it also sets the expectations that I need them to do. So by keeping this process similar, so I like to keep the same things up here, so unpacking your bags is one of the number one priorities, and getting set up for your day. So you might want to put unpack your bags and set your desk up. Okay, because that time where they're coming in the classroom is a little bit of an unsettling time, but it's also a time I want them to switch on their hats. And that's one of my other little quirky things, I go switch on the learning hat, like you strap it on. Um, but that's with the little ones, so have a little bit of fun with that. Um, changing your readers, this is something that can help with afternoon times. So if you make this part of the routine in the beginning, that will help save a little bit of time at the end of the day. And perhaps they're having that sort of chaotic time where they're changing readers. When you've got 25 to 30 children doing that, perhaps you can spend that time doing some literacy or some reading activities. Um, and here we've got find your rotation group and sit down and show me already. So this is says, show me already for a fun day. This is giving them the opportunity to select the correct behavior so I know. So you will definitely need to set the expectations and having a chat with them in a whole class situation. So how will I know you're ready? How will I know? Eye contact, body, will you be loud, will you be quiet, those sorts of things. So you need to have conversations with your students before you just go and give them your expectations. Uh, by, by setting the standards high, setting the boundaries, um, you'll find that your students will actually realise the expectations and start working independently and doing all those things without too much prompting from your part. And the bonus is you get to save some time, so that's really cool. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. I will be going to put this and make it a, an editable PowerPoint presentation. Um, there is a really cool one that you can do with um, on Design by Teachers. Also put a free link to that. It's how students can check themselves into class. So I'll make sure you guys have the link. But make sure you go ahead and grab your free PowerPoint editable file. Um, I'll put the link under the video. And make sure you join us over in the Australia Beginning Teachers Network if you're looking for some support uh, each day while you're doing your early teaching years or you're discovering your teacher life. Make sure you join us. I hope to meet you soon and bye.